you know, the purpose of today's training is to kind of get you into more of an aware space. You know, as we're going out, we're dealing with problems in business, we're trying to achieve our goals, we're trying to make magic happen, we're trying to do something we've never done before. We have to kind of think about, okay, well, how are we interacting with the world? How are we interacting with the game? What are the rules for interacting? How can we control our responses and design our life to achieve those goals? Let's think about the human body, right? This is like almost like your character in the game. And I think if we were to kind of split that body right in two, we would realize that it kind of looks the same on both sides. And I've always kind of wondered why we compare things the way we do. And the way the human mind works and the way the human body works is we're almost always comparing things. We're so used to thinking in these two ways. Like this binary way of thinking, it affects our decision making. And most importantly, it affects our view of ourself. In a long enough time span, everything becomes the opposite of what it once was. You know, things are moving. Things aren't always good or always bad. Things aren't always hot or always cold. People see things very differently over a period of time. And that is so essential for you because if you're gonna look at yourself and you're gonna look at your ability to succeed, you're gonna look at your business, and you're gonna look at the market and you're gonna look at your clients, you really have to change things. And so you might as well start believing whatever you wanna believe about the world and yourself right now. I very rarely ask what is true. I like to start by asking, what do I need to believe to have whatever I want? That is a completely different way of thinking. It's getting your mind to think about success rather than about just truth. If you would just look at it in a different way, then you would act in a different way. But most people that are in this sort of two-sided mode of thinking, they cannot think of something else. And it's the same thing in business. You know, most of the time people are walking through their life getting triggered by all these things that aren't real. And when you when you sort of talk to people when they have these strong emotional reactions, they say very common, very similar things. They say things like, no, 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 I can't do that. You know, that's not me. And this is the big one. That's not who I am. Really, the truth is that your identity holds you back. What you think about yourself, who you think you are. I really try now in life to make my identity completely flexible. Being a salesperson is probably one of the most beautiful things you can do. And if you ever really wanna help a lot of people, you have to become excellent at sales because there's no way to get a lot of clients and help a lot of people unless you get that reaction from people. You get them to decide to work with you. You don't wanna be stuck on anything and you certainly don't wanna be stuck on anything for a long period of time. You wanna be constantly moving and constantly changing. And so every time you get too fixed to something, it's a lie. Everything that you believe about your business that holds you back is a lie. You have to take the opposite side and then you can move forward. And this, I mean, I kid you not, this literally will work for you in your business every single time. Whenever people say that they can't do something or they don't wanna do something, typically that's a very good sign that that's the first thing they need to do because they need to be more flexible. And I know that humans, you know, they like to put themselves in the victim mentality. They like to blame other people. They like to say life is hard. And this sort of binary mode of thinking, it traps them. I can be convinced of anything. I can be convinced of anything. But because I can be convinced of anything, I end up not really believing, you know, anything 100% because I know that I could change, right? I can also believe that I could be incredibly successful. So when people have these broken stories, this is really just a bullshit story about your identity. I've got to do hard work. I care about taking my clients and I'm not like you. The way you break yourself out of being so binary and fixed in your beliefs is you just start doing the opposite of what you used to do, right? And so when people tell you that's not like you and you've been a very fixed binary person for a long time, that's a very good sign.